Welcome back guys. So this is part two on removing the clutch on a 2007 Ford Focus. Alright, so I need to get access to, I need to remove the clutch line. I'm going to need to remove the linkages and the brackets for that. Um, I'm gonna need to remove this this bracket up here give me more room but I'm gonna support the motor and transmission and um, take this bracket off this is gonna I'm gonna put this back on with this bolt to hold the transmission and motor because if if I don't have this on it's just gonna drop but uh, let me get that going So, I still have a 10 millimeter here. They are four 15 millimeter bolts there, nuts. And then the center one is 13 sixteenths. Um, so, let me get those off. Motor and training are already supported. Just simply lifts up. And this is your uh, transmission mount. And then this whole bracket here just lifts up. Just like that. And I might just need to put this back just so. When I'm ready to put the transmission, um, take off the transmission, I'll just take that off, that mount off. I'm going to put the bolt right there in the center <clears throat> for now. Jack, bring down the jack a little bit. Just so it'll hold. It's on there, it's not gonna go anywhere. <clears throat> All right. So, right in there. 
this is the clutch line I need to remove that clip to uh, pull out the clutch line Therefore, you don't lose it. So, pull up and out. And save it. Don't lose it. So we're going to follow that line back right here. can't completely take it out yet because of the linkages that are back here this one right here so we need to see where that's mounted and it looks like it's mounted to a bracket down on the bottom So there's a nut right here and straight across back here. And I believe those are 13 millimeter. Let me get those off. So on this linkage guys, how you take it off is it's, it's actually snapped in like that. So you push in the button and then Get a flat tip screwdriver from the bottom and gently lift up and it comes out of that little ball joint but you need to press this button right here okay so you have one there and one in the back 
and that's how you do that okay so let's get back at it so the shift linkage bracket and linkages are disconnected there was two 13 millimeter nuts right in there where those two studs are at that's where this was mounted right there so that's taken out of the way let's see okay so the clutch line is disconnected you can't fully remove it upward because there's this this um the linkage from the transmission there but I'm gonna take this this connector off here and then underneath there underneath the transmission um, beside the axle housing where the axle goes in the transmission there's a um, another connector which is going to be the vehicle speed sensor and because this is going to be the reverse the reverse switch here the reverse um sensor but um let me get that sorted out get that disconnected down there and uh come back to you guys so right here this is your vehicle speed sensor basically you push on the top tab and pull out if you're having difficulty pushing this tab i also use some small channel locks to get to the clip right there you slightly push don't go too hard because you're going to break the casing but uh then you just simply pull it out um so this goes up like that get it out of the way <clears throat> There is this bracket here that's held by this 15 millimeter, I believe. And then on the bell housing on the top where we need to go from the top. But I could remove this one for now. And um, I'll show you how it looks like up there because it's going to interfere with us taking the transmission off. So let's see. This one is the, the bracket that I built I was talking about. It goes up here, it holds it holds some electrical wiring here, these right here, and then it's kind of wedged in the block and the transmission. There is a a bolt right in the middle. You can't see it but it's it's there it's a bell housing bolt we might need to take that one off just to re remove that that um, those connections right there and if you wedge something in here to remove the the clips off and then you get another one actually two more you can't see oh yeah right there the blue one and the gray one right there so let me get those off all right guys so i took that back bracket off that had these connections attached to it i also removed um this bracket right here which was attached with that eyelid to a 13 millimeter right there on the transmission case. So I guess everything that's holding me right now is just the bell housing bolts. And, um, and maybe I need to remove this right here, this shroud. I might need to do that. It's just a plastic um, Phillips 
and maybe a Torx here. But I'm gonna remove that just so we can see more, get access to dropping the transmission as well. Now that all that stuff is removed, we're gonna start taking off the housing bolts. This one was holding that bracket with the wiring here. Then we're gonna remove all the the mounting brackets here. So there it is. We finally got it out. So we had to jack down the motor quite a bit. Um, yeah, that clutch and uh, pressure plate it gone. Um, like I said before, people told me that I had to remove the subframe. We, I did have issues right here, but I had to twist it up, then down, and then forward to remove it. But um, yeah, guys, so this is going to be part two of this uh, clutch removal. Um, I'm going to remove those 10 millimeter bolts, remove the pressure plate and maybe have that uh, the flywheel sur resurfaced so we could put a new clutch on there. All right. There is the clutch, pressure plate, and what remains of a well burnt clutch. Wow. So we gotta get the, that flywheel off and maybe have it resurfaced if it could be resurfaced and change some, some clutch parts here. Thank you guys for watching.